Hi everyone and welcome back to my next video and as woo and as you'll see I'm still in the same clothes so it's been a couple of hours since I've done my bedroom because I did that in the morning and I'm now moving on because I've started and made space for the bedding. I want to do the bathroom so we're going to attempt to do oh my god Alfie's been making forts in his bedroom and got every single toy box out and he's got one of those calaxes that's got eight in there and I was about to say we'll spring clean his bedroom as well that's the, that's the bathroom um um that's the bathroom oh oh it needs doing anyway but I don't think it'll take too long to do Alfie's bedroom so as you'll see in the next clip I have got out the bedding and sorted that already so um, you can see that now. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night. And next up is doing inside the bathroom cupboard. Um, and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what we're dealing with. So the bathroom is actually my next decoration project and this cupboard will get a makeover. Now these were put, these, it used to be an old boiler cupboard and these were put in by the ex. Um, but it was never treated at the back or like, I think I'm going to kind of hope, see if I can sand it. If not, I'm just going to spray it all so it all matches and then put a board down here to kind of block the area off because you can't get down there. Um, so at the moment, down on the bottom shelf, I've got like hair products for dyeing my hair, bath stuff, toys, oats, because I've been taking oat baths because I've been having some rashes and stuff with my legs. So I've been having oat baths, so those are upstairs as well. Next up, we have towels, which need a good fold, um, and there's actually quite a lot in the wash. Then next up is normally where like all my cleaning stuff, but I've been using this cupboard down to kind of get rid of all the cleaning stuff that's been in here for ages so I'm very nearly there with this one and then up the top this used to be up the top used to be stuffed to the brim with um bedding and it all used to be rammed in there and every so often I would go and do this and then it would go back to the normal of just being shoved in a cupboard and shutting the door on so I've moved out all the winter bedding I've moved out all the bedding we don't need anymore because it's really old or it just needs to go and what I've got in here is this is so I've made sets up which you'll have seen in the clip um so in each one just to recap has got all the pillowcases it's needed the bottom sheet and then obviously the quilt in there so um there's Alfie's and mine. Dylan only has one extra because he has his fluffy ones on all the time. So one of those is actually downstairs washing dry. So it's ready to come up here, which will go in this spot here. Um, so my thing today is to kind of sort this and then give the bathroom a quick clean as well. So let's just get on with it. I'm to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand. Looking at the sunset. Man, you're looking good tonight. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you get okay, clean with flash spray. Loads of hair dye on here, so I don't know if it's all gonna come off. And I'm just gonna use um, a scrub dye. Okay, so it's a couple of days later. Excuse my dress again, I need to wash, which is why I'm cleaning it. Um, I am gonna deep clean my kitchen. I'll spring clean my kitchen and I want to do like my oven and my cupboards inside and out. So I saw this trick and I've never ever done it myself before. Ignore this, it just needs resealing. It was taken off and not been resealed. Um, to clean the trays and let me show you. Mainly people use it to clean these, um, but I'm gonna put this in because this sits at the bottom of my oven as well. Um, and I put a towel in there to kind of protect my, um, actually, hold on, ugh, um, to protect the bottom of my bath, but to add washing powder, so, that's why I've just taken it out so I can sprinkle it all the way along. I'm actually going to add some boiling water as well, just to kind of 
my bucket of water is hot, but I just thought boiling water might help lift stuff as well. And it kind of makes sense because of um, washing powder obviously cleans dirt out of things. So we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to put this in hole anyway. And then I'm going to put these down here. So they're sat on the, the towel so it doesn't mark the bottom of my bath. And actually that is enough water. And we're going to leave it to sit for a while um, and see what it, how it does, see if it cleans it. Okay, I'm going to do the oven first and I'm going to use this. I absolutely really, really rate this. So it comes in here with like a little sponge which you wet and then, oh, this is a little bit dry, it's an old one. Um, and I've got a little bucket of water here with some other types of cloths in here as well. But you literally, obviously this is dried out so I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. But you get the paste on your sponge and hold on, that might be a little bit and you literally scrub it is so so easy right i'm going to show you this small area and then i'm going to do the rest right so i've literally just pulled that on there and give it a wipe and i'm going to get a cloth and wipe it off and show you how easy how easy this bit is that is clean compared to the rest um it's a little bit hard to show you but the other side is dirty and that side is clean already. This stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna do the rest of the oven now. So next up is this cupboard. Um, and I desperately need to sort the spices out and things like that, but everything just gets thrown in and we had a bit of an oil spillage from a bottle of oil. So it just needs a good old sort and clean. Um, now, pan cupboards and stuff that has tins or metal bins in often has marks that won't scrub off with like a cleaning product and a cloth. Um, this is where you need, I need to grab mine, um, a magic eraser. So I'll show you that part when I come to it because it's amazing. Like all these scuff marks won't come off, actually, one sec. So like these, right? These won't come off with a cloth. Yeah. I mean, even if I proper scrub at them, they won't come off. Get a bit of a, a, a slightly damp magic eraser. Get, get a slightly damp magic eraser. Gone. Gone. So these are brilliant for this kind of thing. oil won't come off there I'm actually going to use what I used in my oven because it is um, it's non-toxic so it's safe to use on stuff like this I actually clean the pans that have got like if you use fry light you'll know that they can stain your pans brown this will get all that off um, and it's absolutely fine to do use it for that look there we go that pulled that off super super quick and before it wouldn't move so I've got a stain here where the bottles sit and it just like drips off the bottom of the bottle all back in nice and clean I've sorted all my spices out and my trays and stuff and yeah I'm happy with that so next up is this drawer um, which is basically just a Tupperware drawer but it's literally become a dumping ground so it needs a sort and a clean underneath um, so yeah I'm just gonna move you up so you can see inside it is literally a big old Tupperware dumping ground um, so yeah, let's get this one sorted. Um, oh, and I'm going to make sure they all have lids before they go back in here. Um, because of, that really pees me off when you can't find a lid. So if it's not got a lid, it's going to, and it can be recycled, which a lot of these can. I'm going to recycle them if they've not got a lid. I've got cutters in here though. I've got a whole tub of cutters. Like these ones from my childhood that my mum had, these are actual Tupperware brand um, and there is a whole set, or there should be a whole set, I don't know if there is a whole set left anymore, but yeah. Um, I used to do loads and loads of baking and cake making, um, it was something that I really, really enjoyed, but as my health declined over the years, um, my energy to bake and cook kind of went with it. So I've kept some of them and we do still bake all time to time and Dylan now likes to bake. So, um, so, we just have 
and I could just shout so mummy doesn't have to bake. But yeah, uh, yeah let's get this one tidy and clean by the look of it. Ew. And that's everything done, all sorted. Okay, so I've done all my cupboards. I didn't video those because it's the same as all the rest, but let's see what this does. I brought my little um, elbow grease scrubber up. But I forgot the tripod, so I'm hoping that if I sit you on here, you should be able to see. <laughs> oh, perfect. So, I'm going to actually, and the water's really cold down now. Now, I've obviously got no cleaner on this, but, wow. I mean, you've got to scrub a little bit, but nothing like you would if... I mean, look, that just wiped off there then. Oh, you can't see. Well, let's do the other side so you can see. So, what, darling? Is that we'll draw in butterflies? Yeah. Look what I searched up on Google. Oh, cool. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Right, so, you can see, like, if I just rub this along, it wipes it all off. I'm, like, absolutely gobsmacked. Let's see this edge here. Look, it literally just, like you would be using a cloth, kind of wipe off. So I'm gonna give these a scrub in here um, and then show you the finished result. So because literally 90% came off super, super easy, we've got some sub stubbornness spots. So because it's so easy too, I'm actually gonna do a second round. Um, but like these just wiped off. So this is obviously just a bit more of a stubborn area. So. So this is them finished and I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Like I say, most of it washed off really easy. Some of the really thick bits I struggled to get off and I don't have like a wire brush or anything like that. But I found this when I was cleaning out the cupboard drawer, which is the barbecue cleaner. So I just used this to scrape them off and obviously this has got a wire bit on. Um, just to give them a final scrubbing like these hard to reach places. But they look brand new um, and so does all of there's my kitchen roll. I was just looking for that. So does all of my oven. Now I did take this off and clean inside on the other side and the pane that's on the front. Just be careful when you're putting it back. I hadn't actually just clipped mine in properly. Um, I need to get a new seal. So just be careful if you do do that. Um, so I now look like I have a brand new oven so yeah all perfectly clean get this one in one handed ta-da and that is my deep clean of the kitchen done I've got to do like a little bit of the counters and the floor and stuff but for me the main part is done now which is all of the um, can you hear the wind? I don't know if you will be able to, but it's raining and windy and horrible out there. Um, yeah, that is my deep kind of clean that I don't get to do all the time. Done. So thank you for watching. I shall see you all in my next video. Goodbye.